everyone, Josh here. Thanks for joining me today for this uh, game one in my Tiger 131. This is the uh, wargaming version or the replicant of the only working fully original Tiger tank in the world. It was in the movie Fury, I believe. I'm not a historian, so I won't go into more of that, but here's some stats for you. Pretty good gun stats. They've, um, they've taken the standard, uh, say, your Tiger gun. They've given it some less penetration, a little less accuracy, but better aim time and a lower alpha damage. Uh, this thing wouldn't have been good up to tier 9, but they've given it preferential matchmaking, so it only plays up to tier 8. And I think they're kind of caught between a rock and a hard place here. With the, I personally think they should have left it go up to tier 9 and left it with the original gun stats that the hammer has. I mean, it's the same tank then, but this thing just seems a little broken. You can out-DPM the crap out of everything. It is crazy. I mean, you could do that with a hammer as well, but, oh, here's me struggling with the comms wheel. Ooh. Now, you can out-DPM everything with a hammer. It's just, this thing, it's a little more of a safe bet <laughs> when you don't have to fight tier 9, so that's for sure. No E75s to smack you around. Now, as you can see, I'm... <laughs> That's quite the shot there. No, I'm on uh, I'm on the EU server right now, and being in Western Canada, that is making things a little difficult here for me. So some of the shots will be off. There's a bit of an input lag for me. I kind of luck out here. This poor, this poor hammer that's with me gets absolutely scudded by that. <laughs> by that KV2, the light tank ignores me, and hey, what do you know? Thanks, guys. This just opens it right up for me to go try to get some shots in behind these guys. It's a tricky spot though because I've basically been forgotten about almost, you know. Uh, the Artie didn't shoot at me, these guys didn't, you know, KV2 backed off, there's nobody else there. So I'm, I am kind of get, uh, <laughs> I don't know, just being in the middle here, it's sort of, I, I get, I'm not sure which way to go, what to do kind of thing, you know. There you go. Look at that reload. See that? No problem with that aim time. The aim time buff is is really good for this tank. Like it's it's crazy good. It makes up for the .36 accuracy. In fact, I'd say I'd rather have this than the the aim time that the hammer has at 2.7 seconds. That I know it's only .4, but it seems like forever. With that, you have shorter aim time. You're probably more accurate on the move. Etc. Etc. So now this is the decision here I was <coughs> referring to earlier. Do I push down behind these guys? I don't know what's all down there because I was a little slow getting up here. I don't know what's back that way. I don't know what's in their base sniping, but I do know I like to shoot artilleries. There you go. Ooh, a high roll. Nice. Look at that reload, it is just stupid. So this is me just running rammer vents and optics with this guy. Um, it doesn't need the gun lane drive like you might run on your hammer, not sure if you run that or not, but if you do, you don't need it on this. And you definitely don't beat, oh see, another bit of a lag there. Poor Jumbo. Hello Carl Craft. how are you sir? And I mean, he thinks he's got a second to turn around and get a shot at me, but he should have just tried to get an extra pen in the other direction, because man, this thing's reload. Like, <laughs> it's so stupid fast. I think it's about 2,400 damage per minute with uh, with no equipment or anything, no brothers in arms at all. So you throw in your, your brothers in arms, your rammer, your vents. Yeah, that's a... Uh, Getting near 3,000, <laughs> which is just stupid. I'll take the time to aim that one in, get an extra shot on me, that's fine, dude. Gotta make those shots count, like I said. I'm trying to play fairly conservative here with the aiming and whatnot due to the EU server. And it's funny because it, it used to be just fine, it didn't matter. 
what was going on with this EU server. Like I could I could go play with it and two bar and everything was fine. But just there was an update a couple months ago. That would have been like mid 2016, I guess it would have been. And all all of a sudden, I just the input lag on this server. I have to be very careful which tanks I pick. <laughs> no more light tanks on the EU server. It spares them from me trolling them with APCR rounds and my premium tanks and whatnot. Flying around in light tanks, shooting premiums at everybody. <laughs> <coughs> it's not for everybody, just those of us that have a lot of silver lying around, right? Now this is frustrating. Let's attack, let's attack. Let's cap, let's cap. I mean, you're taking silver out of your hands, you're taking XP out of your hands, cap the base, that's fine. It's not fine, I wish you wouldn't do it. Like, we have this, these guys are just too stupid and lazy at the same time. It's very annoying. Especially when you're, you know, having a decent game. Some queer's like, oh, I'll get, you know, we'll split, the three of us will split 100 XP. I shouldn't say some queer, that's mean to gay people. Base cappers are worse than anything any gay person's ever done. That's for sure. It's just, it's not, it's not more XP and it's not more silver. And just for some reason people are stupid and think it is. There you go. Oh man, you got outskilled there. Yeah, at some point they just got convinced that capping the base was the only way to win sometimes. And it's like, like you're just lazy. Because I could have probably had a, a Radley Walters medal there. But anyways. Go on for hours about base capping idiots and etc. etc. So let's, let's not do that. Good silver earner right there. 2300 damage in that. Six kills, only 1,200 XP because the base cap, it could have been better. Uh, yeah, good tank. I recommend getting it. It uh, It's 9,600 gold in the store right now, and it will be 8,100 at the end of the month. I didn't wait for it. 1,500 gold, this didn't seem like too big of a deal for me. So, Anyways, guys, thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you all out on the battlefield.